Hello and welcome back to my Mountain of Shame. Today we have Gurman, a monstrous adventure. A 2015 game by Nihon Falcom and Mastiff. So, fair. Um, so yeah, this is an odd one in that it is an RPG apparently. Never heard of it despite owning it. So that's fun, I guess. Um, it did have a settings menu before you got in to change the, uh, the resolution and the graphics, but it did not allow for 1440p. So currently, um, the highest it went up to was 19, whatever, by 1080. So it's not, it's, it's not fully modern, no. But let's start and see what it's like. Alright, so this is Perrin. I might as well keep her name. And it's got some very basic... Okay, just got some basic um, difficulty options. Or even accessibility, really, because to see a damage and traps and falls minimal. Landing and assists on jumps, no slips on ice. So you know what? Fair enough. Not what I'm looking for, though. Let's just go with the uh, base game difficulty here. I don't need that right now. I might say otherwise when I keep slipping on yeah, stuff, but that's okay. Uh, get back over here. Nice traditional JRPG music, giving me uh, Secret of Mana vibes. Okay, so our hero comes to a city. Okay. Aw, doggo. This must be it. Oh, good voice acting. Grandpa. Aw. Good to see you. Hmm. Uh, who are you? <laughs> it's me, your granddaughter. I wrote to say I'd be coming to live with you. Remember? Is she running away from home? Quite a trip. You must be tired. But she said, I'm coming to live with you. Two days on a train. You'd think mom or dad could have mentioned something. Oh, you haven't changed a bit. So, what brings you to our little town today? I just told you, Grandpa. I'm coming to live here with you. Can I come in now? Why specifically? Okay. This is your room. Looks fine to me. What the hell is going on at the top here? Your parents don't make it easy, do they? Huh? Moving across the country while they excavate. Ah, I see. Leaving you here while they go abroad. They're adventurous. But aren't you lonely? I'm used to it. Besides, I'll make new friends here. Really? We've always just moved when I was meeting people. But I'll be here long enough to make friends. Oh, good, good. But, um... But what? Oh, you know... This is a mining town filled with miners. There's no children here, not one! Oh. Ah. Maybe you and Fan at the bakery could be friends. Why don't you two take a look around town? How are there no kids here at all? Okay, use the cursor and right click to move. Um, to jump, press X or spacebar. Open the menu, lower <coughs> mouse button to the screen, that's fair. Oh, save frequently since Gurman does not have an autosave. That's not good. Alright, okay. Looks like I literally just click and hold. Which is a little bit interesting. Uh, nothing to wear. So click and hold the right mouse button to move. Ooh, that's gonna take some getting used to, yes. Okay, so we got the way out. Guess what we'll to go out there. This is definitely gonna take some getting used to. Hit Z or left click when the talk appears. When a exclamation point or check appears, and so might check and so might happen. Did I just walk? No. WASD and the arrow keys do nothing. 
Oh, I am so forgetful lately. A mayor shouldn't be so absent-minded. He's a mayor? Oh, I just remembered there's a hole in that damn wall. I keep forgetting to have someone fix it for us. That's Grandpa. Okay. Ooh, hello. Vegetables are inside. Oh, 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 young lady. Did you just move here? Uh, that's right. My name's Cylinder. I'm a demolitionist expert. Demolitions? I plant explosions into mind and then blow them up. Wow. Girls your age aren't too common here. How about you and me go on a... Well, I didn't have pedophilia on my first six minutes of the game um, bingo chart, but uh, here we are. That's concerning. There's, there'd be quite an age gap there. He just said there were no kids in town. So this guy is clearly a grown adult who's like seeing this clearly a toddler, like not that young, uh, not that old, like even assuming that that's full, full um, height of adults. Like, she'd have to be, like, 13, 14 tops? And, and looks a lot younger here. Oh, God. Why? Me date him? Yuck. Even friends is pushing it. I'm kind of busy for the next uh, million years. Haha. <laughs> no reason we know it's so shy. I'm being rude, not shy. But you're not being rude. He's being rude. What the hell? In what world are you the rude one? <clears throat> what the hell? I'll come pick you up after I get off from work. <laughs> Ugh, I felt dirty just saying that line. I just told you I'm not interested. Yeah, this person's called Parin. They should call him Para, Para. But seriously, look at the bloody face and the twin tails. She's literally looks like she's a kindergartner. Like even I know realize realistically she's a little bit younger than the, like shorter than the adults. So she's clearly older than that, but like she looks like a bloody kindergartner. Anyway, let's. She's not an adult though. You, you just leave her alone. Ooh, cakes. <clears throat> okay. This person's at least a similar-ish height. Can we get behind and sort of? Oh, great! Now he's following me. Shortcake. Huh. Cute little girl. What's your name? Parent. Hmm, Parent. Mine's Fan. Nice to meet you. Are there really no kids in this town? Afraid not. Just adults. Then will you be my friend? <laughs> Me? Be your friend? <laughs> I'd be glad to. We'll be like sisters. Uh, that's a bit much. Yeah. Sometimes strange things happen around here. Really? Like what? I'll tell you later. Okay. <clears throat> You need to stop following me. I'll <laughs> see you later. I would never. God damn. So you're the little girl living with our man now. I bet you're thinking that people, ha that not many people live here. <clears throat> yeah, where is everyone? The men all work all day in the mines. Today certainly has Poochie riled up. He's been barking all day. Yeah, but like, why? Oh, hello. Who are you? <clears throat> Welcome! A little girl, how rare? New to town? Yeah, see, he's identifying her as a little girl, not trying to pick him up, pick her up. God damn it! My name's... Ah, what a pretty name! My name's Disc. Pretty? Oh no. What kind of store is this? Ah, I'm glad you asked! It's Disc's Discount Shop! Yeah, you can, you can compliment someone about it. I'm sorry, the game just put, put, this, put me in a very weird place in the point of... I don't trust any of these people right now. <clears throat> Discount shop, but what do you sell? Ah, well, look at this. These are brand new goggles. These are store exclusive, first rate materials, and a killer design. I see. But look, that's not all. Look at this. Ah, just put them on and they'll reduce water damage. Ah, uh, cool. I'd like you to have them as a welcoming gift from me. <clears throat> Cool, very generous. Ah, no money down, no payments for a whole 12 months, and after that, only 200 pockles a month. Tuh. Hey, nice gift. Ah, just a joke, a joke. Oh, by the way, don't forget to equip those items. Bargains galore here. Please take a look around. 
Okay. Let's go and equip the goggle. Oh, what a basic... What a basic item system. I have a cookie. Nice. Okay, we've got special moves in here as well. Buy drill parts from s Cylinder. Oh, god damn it. All of my special moves are dependent on talking to the pedophile? Jesus. Okay, this game is... Uh, I don't like that. No. Okay. That's pretty mean. Looking for someone's mail is pretty mean. I wasn't actually trying to look for the mail. I was trying to see if there's anything in the door, but okay. Ah, Starina War is boring. It's probably the only interesting thing. This way is the mine. No kids allowed. I mean, how do you know that? Like, you're being a very... Okay, why aren't you going in there, more importantly? Like, you're a small child who doesn't know any better. Why have you got... And your parents are adventurers. Why have you got the self-control to stop yourself from going into the mine? Unless you're just afraid you'll find more people like, um, Cylinder. Ew, I hate tomatoes. Yuck, these potatoes have eyes growing out of them. Oh, parts of some kind? They're mixed up, but I can't tell what's what. Oh, uh, sorry, I think it was animal parts. No, I think it's just literal parts. I think I remember a statue like this in my last town. A world famous chef? Looks like a store sign. Okay, so... Mm, not giving me great vibes already, but I've got to see what this game's about. So, <clears throat> let's hope we can get some combat or something interesting soon. Oh, come on. Go for the hole, at least. That way looks boring. Wow, so you'll have a whole two streets to explore. Adventurous. You'll be able to walk all the way to the mine and say you can't go in there. And then you'll be able to walk all the way up here and say you can't go up there. Your life is going to be thrill a minute. With nothing but a pedophile and a weirdly attached, um... So boring. I wish there were kids around. What's that? Hey. Hey. I'm sorry. I shouldn't read it when it's reading too. It looks like a kid. Probably an elf or something. Oh, come on. It's a doggo. You just want... Aww. Oh god damn it! An animal cruelty to boot? I know she didn't actually hit the dog, but seriously. She's not a kid, surely. Like, she is a kid. She looks like a very small kid. But she's not a human. Okay, that makes sense. are you talking to, child? Cute, an imaginary friend. Grown-up humans can't see us monsters. Wow, a real monster. Um, uh... Are you afraid of monsters? No, I was just surprised. Really? I never thought I'd meet a real-life monster. Hey, let's be friends. I know, I'm questioning this too. But you're still better than the other people in town, apparently. Wait, so these monsters are still exploring town? Who's the human? She saved me. We're friends. <laughs> friends? Hmm. Is that a problem? Thank you for helping my sister. Hey, why don't you come to Monster Village with us? Monster Village? Is that really okay? Po the voice actor is giving me Pokemon vibes. Okay, come on. I'll show you the way. It's like the C's, the series, not the game. Because obviously the game doesn't have okay. voice acting. It's this way. Oh, you mean for the hole they're going to close up? Hmm. Monster Village is right on the other side. We live there. It may look strange. But you'll like it. Come on! Let's go! How the hell does this does this little girl have so little desire wow, to explore? This is the first time she's shown any interest in actually exploring. And 
Even then, it required a bunch of pushing and shoving. <clears throat> and peer pressure. Don't forget peer pressure. So we've got pedophilia, animal abuse, peer pressure. Okay, that's one in its favor. There's now a chicken. I mean, realistically, they really do need to clean out that, um, clean that wall or open, like, close up that wall. Because if these are monsters, Okay, please have none of these monsters hit on her. Oh god, so that him being creepy is going to be a thing now? I'm sorry, grown man. You need to say, take no for an answer. Wait, 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 wait. So she's in a monster village, but she's killing monsters actively as well. I feel like an intro like this that shows so many characters and so many plot points that you don't understand yet would probably work better as an outro rather than intro. I mean, I guess it's what what JRPG um or well ARPG intros can sometimes be, but seriously. You go. That's two positives in this game's favor. You've got the chicken and the dancing blob. However, the negatives are pretty big with uh, animal abuse, pedophilia, and peer pressure. Nice move, Coco. Oh. Uh, back again? Yeah, it's boring in town. You're strange. Wait, so we're not even seeing the f the. Most people are afraid of monsters. You couldn't scare a fly. Hey! <laughs> now we've got bullying. I'm kind of sad that this is like time skip to the future. What's wrong? Phantoms? Oh no! You look like a ghost yourself! Are those monsters from somewhere else? Yeah, and they're really dangerous! Ha! My pretty tornado kick will teach them a thing or two! That's some kick! But these phantoms mean business! Wait! What if she could use. Okay, so. It's kind of sad, really, that we've we've basically jumped into the future. I was really looking forward to seeing what her first response was going to be to this these creatures. I thought you can fight the po the monsters, but they're still tough. When I grow up, I'll fight all those meaty phantoms with myself. Yeah, probably a good thing given this girl's clearly a bully. Buku and Pinu came here after losing their family. They're inseparable. Ah, bonjour, pretty master mademoiselle. How could Puku get kidnapped by phantoms? He's always so careful. I hope he's alright. There's a special weapon hidden here. A weapon here? Yeah, one that's like your whole, like, the size of you. 
This weapon was once used to destroy great evil. My brother told me all about it. Oh, really? So the monsters are good and the phantoms are bad. Okay. Will you buy me a strawberry shortcake if I pull it out? Just do it. Wow, she has no sense of urgency. And she just like destroyed their entire town, like their entire central thing. I don't believe it. Now we can fight the phantoms. Pino, do you know where the phantoms are? Check it out, he's dancing. He's dancing. I think him and Claptrap would get along. I'll stay here and support you with my dancing. You can dance if you want to. God damn! This girl is horrible. She's here, here with a literal weapon. Also, no ancient ruins here. Oh no! Can I see my dance? Oh god, it's it's literally railroading me into one place. The ruins, you're right. You know, oh, and I can only go on the paths too. Oh, that's slack. Oh, this game is, is giving me all the bad vibes. All right, well, we'll see how the game plays, the, the battle, the battle system is. So you're the phantom that kidnapped Cuckoo. I am afraid you are mistaken. I am merely an innocent monster passing by. The phantoms went deep inside the ruins. Call me stupid. But I'm going to believe you. Not stupid. You have there. Take good care of it. I'm off. Wow, that thing's creepy. And clearly a phantom of some description, but anyway. Alright, let's where else we can go, because I don't want to go the way the game wants me to. I want to see what else there is to do and see and stuff. Like, I want to see if there's any exploration at all. Oh god, oh god, the bloody... Okay, the, the control system is actually giving me motion sickness. Me! I've played so many games in VR before. How is staring at this game making me want to look away from it? Okay. Something's written here. Use cursor and right-click to move. X and jump to spacebar. Uh-huh. I don't care. I'll just work it out as we go along. How hard can it be? There's literally a cricket and I, that I just killed, and obviously I don't like crickets, so fair. But there's literally it was a cricket I just killed, and quite frankly, I think that leaving it in is pro leaving that moment of silence in might be more more riveting story than what we're getting right now. Because realistically, right now we're just getting a bunch of either people being abusive to this girl or this girl being abusive to people. And you could argue, you could argue, oh, well, it's fine. 
you could argue it's fine. This game's clearly like almost like it's a kid's game. But these aren't the sort of things I'd want a kid to play or learn or do. Oh well. Uh, oh, let's read the sign again. Where all kind of thing was Z or left click. I say can't destroy, try it. Hold down Z to charge up your drill and let it go. Okay. Yeah, I see the actual combat though. Oh no. Well, here we go, combat. A small spider. Oh no, don't tell me. Is this like a roguelike style dungeon setup? Like a mystery dungeon style thing? Alright. Ooh, hello. I see a secret door there. Oh, damn. I was hoping it was actually something hidden. But no. Okay, so on the plus side... Oh. They're too cute to kill. I say. Immediately before killing them. And during killing them, actually. I didn't even have any break there. Well, no more spies by the looks of it. Alright, guard dash. Double click the right butt mouse button. No, I think C would be better. Okay. Sure, but how the hell am I to get around here then? I told me I could just destroy this thing, but I'm guessing not. I'll destroy this if I can. Nope. Uh, maybe yeah, I got dash charge through it, I suppose. Oh, shoot. You know what? I did say the game doesn't autosave, so it literally did just restart me to the sub dungeon. I and mean, that's sort of an autosave. Wait, did I? No, I didn't lose my. I have half health, as it said. But more importantly, I didn't actually lose my coins either. That's interesting. <clears throat> I'm not gonna even kill this little gun. I'm gonna go straight for the special wall. Wait. So we have the other side. You know what? I'm not gonna kill these guys if I can help it. Ah, oh, damn! It's not letting me check them. So yeah, I'm gonna have to. It's empty. Okay, so at least they don't give me... No, no. I'm not killing you, friend. Wait, so... C, the... Must have to read the sign to do it, and then it does. Okay. Okay, the problem with the right mouse button being the same button 
as the dash button is it's very easy just to walk through. And the C, C button is not working either. Oh no. Excuse me, friend. Attention. Drill level up. Your drill level will drop when you take damage. Successfully crits will gradually lower your drill pads. Drilling magic earth will mean increase your drill level by one. Oh. Okay. Weird, but okay. <clears throat> That's a phantom, huh? I assume so is all the stuff you're flying up to this point, because otherwise... Were you just killing friendly monsters? Yeah, nothing in this world seems overly friendly. Huh. Sorry, I wasn't expecting to be able to destroy, destroy the bloody pylons as well. Add some property damage onto the list of my crimes, I suppose. Yeah, restoring you with um, with only half health is kind of mean. Okay, I'm just gonna hit this guy normally rather than using my power attacks because they don't exactly seem that overly scary. Oh, the um, movement is still screwing me up somehow. Oh, easy. Okay. Wait, did that just... Excuse me. I need to get myself hurt. Wait, what? What was the point of this? Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna hurt myself hurt again. You gonna hurt me? Huh. Okay. I feel like I'm sorry, but um they're not bad guys. But what I need to check here is Yep, it literally removes all of her clothing to do the bloody heal. God damn it, you've established this person is canonically a child. Don't make them bloody... Okay. No shoot, we're meant to di dive over there, but the control system is a little bit jank to say the least. I have to be right near the edge to do that. Nope, okay. Now you gotta bash it. I don't want to kill my new spider friends if I don't have to. Oh, never mind. I do have to. Can we push this? Oh, see so something over there. We go read again. Okay. Move, break. So stand to a brush, a box, and hold it. I mean, I was doing that before, but okay. Oh, I guess it's only one way of. Are holding it or okay was I missing the, the okay it's X all right didn't think someone somebody would be able to top um Harvestella and how Uncomfortable it made me feel the writing and choices. Let no. alone the um Is that just leveling up my stuff? Was that what's happening? See it's hooked in there.
Ah ouais. Bah. Ah. Okay. Am I meant to jump over here? Nope. I mean, I tried using the holding thing. Maybe I got to super attack it? Yep, okay. Fair enough. Though there was no real indication of that fact, but okay. Uh-huh. Oof. God, this game is like it's designed to make me feel sick. And I never get motion sickness in games. What is this? Alright, I've leveled up. Fantastic, I guess. My health didn't go up. In fact, I don't even know what did go up. Ah, weird. Okay, so that one's a secret, but also a door. It's not really a secret if I have to go that way. I feel like this game does not understand what secrets are meant to be. Huh. You know what? You guys can just... I'll leave you be. I tried to leave them be anyway, but apparently even one left click was enough to slaughter half of them, so... I don't know. God, we're very lucky that this um, dungeon is full of signs to help us uh, do basic gameplay functions. Die an enemy and jump. That's curse will change. Z to left. Oh, God. X to jump. Mm-hmm. Yep, okay. Let's say X to jump. Oh, X must be on the play controller things. That must be why it's, um, we had that issue before. Okay, excuse me. I mean, we're experienced established this game does have experience points, so if they keep on respawning. Yeah, do I want the money? It sounds like the only person I'm going to buy from is that creepy pedophile. Okay. Oh, so it's all junk, but we can use it. He doesn't seem very concerned. Huh? Looks like you're doing okay. <clears throat> yeah, you just committed a lot of murder. Why didn't you just escape? That's not important. There's no time to talk about that. What now? The phantoms are going to attack Monster Village. Wait, what? Then why didn't you escape? Okay, sorry. At first I was like... Why didn't you escape then, you asshole? Clouds moved in fast. Do you think it's going to rain? Those aren't clouds. That's dark mist. Dark mist? This is bad. I have to get to Monster Village. Hey! Wait up! Oh, so the whole town is actively destroyed. 
not only did we not get to have any chance to, like, imp emphasize with the villagers, <clears throat> besides when she was bullying them. Jesus. Okay, job done. That was, like, too easy. Who cares if some of them got away? My makeup's a mess and I broke a nail. The prince! Well done, my little friends. Thank you. Thank you. My brilliant plan is in motion, but there's still much to do. Do not fail me. Yes, Your Highness. Ooh, you look as handsome as always, my prince. Oh! Stop looking at the prince like that! You! Don't you have think a the prince likes you? Shut up, you noisy little fish. You stink! Silence! Oh, yes, oh, I love you. What's next, Your Highness? The plan. Plan. We are moving to the next stage. Places, everyone! Yes, sir. Yep. There you go. Wait for me! Farewell, my prince! Bye, my princey. See ya! Ah, you finally arrived. What happened? I mean, you can clearly see what happened. Welcome back, human. Friends are elsewhere enjoying my hospitality. Maybe you should go and find them. Sorry. That's just my response this whole game. I bid you adieu. You call, Master? Hey, wait! We will meet again, human. I mean, okay, I think I've clearly decided my opinion on this game <clears throat> already. So, uh, yeah. Oh, God, not you again. Hey, Perrin, that drill, where'd you get it? Nice hat's mine. It's quite an old model. I don't make them quite like that anymore. I, go, I do do demolition, but also good with machines. Hey, we get you some parts for your drill. Really? All for free if you go on a date. Fucking hell. I'll pay, thanks. Uh, why don't we talk more about drills over a cup of tea? Oh, God. Die, 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 die. Ugh. Yeah, I don't want to give this guy money or have a date with him. I just don't want to play this game in general. Like, the game itself has very little soul, very little, like, feeling to it. I have no desire to continue playing it. No interest in the characters, and so far, I found so many red flags, it's not funny. I don't want to continue this. So, this has been Gurman, a monster adventure, and quite frankly, I'm, uh... Yeah, you could argue it's a kid's game, but I, I don't think I'd want kids to play it too much either. It's not that good. There are plenty of better games that they could be playing. Anyway, thank you for joining me. This has been my Mountain of Shame. I'll see you next time. Goodbye!